Here is another problem on linear systems. My approach here is to teach you the method of solving such problems. Let's first understand what a linear system is. Linear system is a system where we have more than one linear equation. Equation of a line like in the form of y equals to mx plus b. Okay? So we are working with more than one equation at the same time. Normally if you are working with two equations you can solve for two variables. So most of our problems here will involve two variables and we will try to understand how to define our variables and solve for them. So let's go through these questions. The first one, question one, is one type of granula is 30% fruit and another is 15% fruit. What mass of each type of granula should be mixed to make 600 grams of granula that is 21% fruit? So here we want to mix two types of granulas and get a third type where the percentage of fruit is in between the first two and we also want a quantity of 600 grams in the second type, the third type. Okay, so that's our first problem. Let's look into the second problem. Second problem is white vinegar is a solution of acetic acid and wa in water. There are two strengths of white vinegar, a 5% solution and a 10% solution. How many milliliters of each solution must be mixed to make 60 milliliters of a 9% vinegar solution? So this sounds to be a very similar question to the first one. So they are basically mixture problems where we are trying to mix two things and getting the third thing as per our requirements. Correct? So I'll get into details of question number one and show you how to do it and I'll leave question number two for you. Okay, you can apply the methods learned and solve question number two for yourself. I'll appreciate if you could copy the questions and try them on your own at present. And uh, stop the video and then I'll move forward with the solution and then you can check your solution and see how the things went with you. That will be a good learning experience. So let's read the question again. So we'll try to solve question number one. So first thing is try to read questions couple of times so that you really understand what you're trying to do and what you're trying to find what is given to you things like that now let's read it slowly one type of granula is 30 percent fruit and another is 15 percent fruit so we got two types of granula so we we can draw like this we have one type here and another type here correct what mass of each type of granula should be mixed to make 600 grams of granula that is 21% fruit. So we want to mix them and get third type. So that's that's kind of problem which we have. And here what do we have? We have a 30% granula. So this is 30%. And this one is 15%. And what do we want? We want 21%. Okay. Now, the third thing is, how much do we want? We want 600 grams. So, we want 600 grams. Okay. Now, let's assume that we use uh, x grams of A and y grams of B. Then, in that case, what is our equation? So, we get first equation from here, which is that x plus y is 600. So we'll write this equation. x, I wrote plus first. x plus y equals to 600. Now, second equation. Second equation we get from here. What mass of each type of granula should be mixed to make 600 grams of granula? That is 21%. So we want 21%, correct? Now, if I add x grams of 30% and y of 15% and I get 21% of 600 grams then this can be equated as 30% is 30 over 100 correct 30% 30% of x so write 30% of x let me do it here 30 over 100 30% of means times x plus 15% of y so 15% is over 100 times y will make us third type of granula which is 21 percent of 600 so 21 percent of 600 
Do you understand? Of is translated as times in your equation. Whenever you have of, it is translated as times. Is is equal to, correct? Now, 30% of x times x plus 15% of times y equals to 21% of means times 600. Now, so we got two equations here, correct? Now, two variables. These are simultaneous equations. Now, to solve them, we should write one variable in terms of another. Now, from this equation, we can convert x or y into another variable. Okay, let's do y equals to what? So, from here, we can write y equals to 600 take away x. Is it okay? Now, we know y is 600 minus x. We'll substitute this value of y in our equation. Correct? And then solve for x. Then we'll have only one variable with us. Correct? So, let's do that. So, 30 over 100 is 0.3. So write 0 0.3 of x plus 15 over 100 is 0.15. So 0 0.15 of y. Instead of y, I will write 600 minus x. So we are substituting from our equation into another so that we have an equation in only one variable is equal to 21% of this. That means 0 0.21 of 600. Is it okay? Okay. Now, second step, we could only equation in one variable. Now, it is very, very simple for us to solve, right? So, we can use our calculator and solve it. Let's do it. 0.3x, so we we'll go further. 0.3x, and this is distributive law. Let's multiply 0 0.15 times 600 and x, right? 600, so 100 will make it 15, do you understand? And then we can multiply 15 by 6. 6 times 5 is 30, 0, 3 there, and 6 times 1, 6 and 3, 90. So, we will get 90, correct? Minus 0.15x is equal to, let's multiply this by 21. So, 100 will remove the bracket. Let's put this in bracket for clarity. Decimal to the other place, we get 21 times 6, 6 times 1, 6, 6 times 2, 12. So, we get 126, correct? We will keep variables on this side and take the numbers on the other side. So, we will have 0.3 minus 0 0.15 will give us plus 0 0.15. So, we get 0 0.15x equals to 126 minus 90. Correct? So, what is 126 minus 90? 6 take away 0 is 6 and 12 take away 9 is 3. So, we get 36 equals to 0 0.15x. So, what is x equals to? x equals to 36 divided by 0 0.15. Correct? When you divide by 0 0.15, it is as good as dividing 3600 by 15. Correct? So, we will write this 36 100 by 15. I am trying to show you calculations so that we avoid calculator. Okay, that's one of the idea of my teaching here. You can always use the calculator and find your answer. So you can divide both by 5. The numbers are ending with 0 and 5. So 5 times 3 is 15, and 5 times 7 is 35. You get 10, 2, and 0. Now you can divide this by 3, right? 3 times 1. Why? 7 plus 2 is 9. And if you get 9, this is a multiple of 3. So, you can divide that by actually 3 and 9 also. So, let's divide by 3. So, when you divide by 3, we get 3 times 2 is 6 and 12, 3 times 4 and this. So, x is equal to 240. Is that okay? So, we got x as 240. And here, what were we writing about y? y is equal to, now let's substitute. I'm using a different thing so that we don't really mess it up. So, we got x equals to 240. x equals to 240. And the unit is grams because 600 was in grams. Okay, And y is how much? y is equals to 600 minus 240. That should be 360. Is that okay? Grams. So, I am running out of space, so I am not writing the answer statement. In a word problem, it is a must to write answer in a statement. So, you have to and you should 
otherwise 0 0.5 marks will be deducted okay so you write here answer and what will you write in the answer read the question what mass of each type of granular so both right should be mixed to 600 gram to make this much so we say 360 grams of we'll say 360 grams of which one why which one was why 15 percent do you understand of 15 percent solution granular okay and 240 grams of X which is 30 percent fruit gran granular okay should be mixed to give us 600 grams of granular do you understand now that completes our solution do you understand okay that's good now let's go over it quickly okay what did we do once we read the problem we try to define a variable so we say let x grams of granular 30 percent mixed with y grams of granular 15 percent fruit to make 600 grams of 21 percent granular okay 21 percent with fruits right now since and then we make a small diagram here which helps us to understand moving forward so the diagram clearly says x plus y is 600 we got our first equation second 30 percent of x plus 15 percent of y is equal to 600 21 percent of 600 so we got the second equation in the first equation we found one variable in terms of the other so we wrote y equals to 600 minus x substitute this variable into the second equation getting rid of value one variable right so now with the result we have a linear equation in terms of only one variable right so we substituted y as 600 minus x there it is and then we solved it found x after finding x, you have to put the value of x back and get the y value. Once you get the y value, then write down your answer in a statement answering the question. Correct? Now, let's look into the second question. White vinegar is a solution of acetic acid in water. There are two strengths of white vinegar, a 5% solution and a 10% solution. Correct? How many milliliters of each solution must be mixed to get 60 ml of nine percent vinegar solution exactly same right so let me just move this sheet and put it in focus for you so here what we are going to do we are for going to follow the same method so we'll first draw the diagram correct two things are mixed together what do we get we get the third thing and what are these two things about so these two things are this time five percent and ten percent solutions so five percent and 10% solutions right to give you what 9% solution somewhere in between correct how much of each units are milliliters we want to make 60 ml so we get 60 ml here so we write x here what we can do I'll, I'll show you one more thing one variation we can sometimes write equation only in one variable we know total is 60 right so like the first equation we did x plus y equals to 60 and then y equals to something like minus something we could write like this we could take this as for example x right then how much should this be 60 minus x do you see that so we could sometimes write in one variable and that can solve our problem efficiently reducing steps and save time okay and there's not huge confusion in it it's a simple way of doing it okay grade 9 and 10 students try to do this this way also now okay because you have got a lot of practice so this gives us one equation and from here if you do like this we straight away get one variable equation that is 5% of 60 minus x so we write 5% is 0.05 I'm not writing 5 over 100 this time do you see that we know what is 5% okay of 60 minus x plus 10% of x 0.10 of x equals to 9% of 60 0 point not 90 90 will become 90 percent 0 9 percent of 60 correct so we have a very simple equation in x and this can easily be solved to find the value of x once you find the value of x right that means x is 10 percent solution find how much of 5 percent solution is required do you agree with me that is 60 minus x do that and then write down your answer in words correct 
I hope that should not be difficult for you to do. In case you land into any problems, put up your comments. You can send the queries to me and I'll be more than happy to solve it. Okay. I hope you appreciate the method and you are able to do such problems on linear systems easily. All the best. Good luck.